fuck. That kid never listens. Okay. Time to get Daniel at the Ericsons. Claire? Steven? Anybody home? Well, looks like I'm home alone. Oh, right. Sunday morning. Claire and Steven must be at church. We had a good time decorating the tree together last night. <laughs> Daniel loved it. Well, I guess they won't be back for at least two hours. Maybe I could use Steven's laptop. It's been ages since I've had news from the real world. Jeez. Steven went search crazy on us. Look at this. These articles are almost a month old. Maybe they stopped looking for us? What the hell is this? I had no idea Steven could fall for this bullshit conspiracy theories. Well, Brody, if we ever make it home, wherever that is, you'll be much, much welcome. Well, this article is much less creepy than it seemed back then. Holy shit. Who are these assholes? That's some fucked up hate speech. Wow. Lila seems to be having a hard time. Never seen her this salty. I should really call Lila to check on her.
Okay. Let's get this brack back home now. Why does Daniel never listen? Maybe I'm too soft with him. Let me tell him. Sean, I know it sounds crazy, but I have a superpower. You saw me yesterday. I know you did. I was flying. I can move things, objects, with my mind. Oh, a superpower. Really? Yes. Well, that's pretty cool, Chris. So, you're like a superhero? I'm Captain Spirit. I can bend any matter to my will. But that's my secret identity, so you can't tell anybody. Oh, I can keep a secret, Captain Spirit. Now you're an official member of the Spirit Squad. If you betray us, I'll disintegrate you. <laughs> nah, just kidding. Oh yeah, we need a... Team Signal. Totally! I'm gonna be Super Wolf. What's your super name, Sean? Uh, how about the Silver Runner? Cool? Cool, right? Hmm, not bad. That's true, you're a great runner. Okay, guys, I think we're ready to roll. Uh, excuse me, who are you? I'm Sean. Uh, oh yeah, uh, sorry man, you're here for Daniel. Hey, let's make it official. I'm Charles Erickson. Nice to meet you. Hope you know that Daniel and Chris are a dangerous team. We better watch out, or they're gonna take over the world. Yeah, they share a lot of things, as thick as thieves. Can we go get the Christmas tree now? We're both ready to fly. Yes, 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 the, the team has been waiting too long. Hey, you should come along too. There's nothing going on over here. Yes! Can't wait to see all the decorations! And Sean, we could buy Christmas presents for Grandma and Grandpa. Well, don't worry if we leave the house. And remember, you still have to get better, Daniel. Sean, come on. You know I haven't done anything fun since I got sick. It's the first time I've been out for days. We won't be gone for long. The market's only a few miles away. Anyway, they'll be at the service for at least another hour. Yeah, Sean. I can show Daniel around. You can come with us. Please say yes. Please. 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 <sighs> okay. You win. Not a fair fight. So let's go. <laughs> yes! Yeah! See? Dangerous. Okay, team, uh, give me a time out to clean up the back seat. I'll honk when I'm done. Ooh, uh, can I use the bathroom? Of course. Oh, you'll see my comic books. I'm glad you're coming, too. Hey, you want to see my toys? Oh, score! The new hot dog man? Since you're a new member of the team, you have to know everybody. These are Captain Spirit's friends, and his enemies. Dude, that's pretty cool. Can you guess who are the good guys and the villains? Let's see. The bad guys, the good guys. Not that easy, right? Careful. It may be tricky. Look close. 
closely. Careful. It may be tricky. Interesting. Okay. How did I do? You're not a very good observer. Okay, let me introduce them to you. This is Team Spirit, the good guys. There's the Forest Warrior, Power Bear, Marty Rex, and Sky Pirate. So, who are the bad guys? That's Noctarius and the Shark Stinger. There's also Snowmancer. But he's out in the garden. But they're all working for Mantroid, who's the real supervillain. So, where is he? Hiding out on his evil planet, waiting for me. But Captain Spirit and Super Wolf will make sure he doesn't hurt anyone. <laughs> yeah, strength in numbers. Sounds like Mantroid is in trouble. Just wait until he sees what Captain Spirit can do now. <sighs> yeah, about that. Does your dad know about any of this? Did he see something yesterday? No, he didn't see anything, and the power didn't work yesterday. After I fell, I uh, must have been too tired. Okay, good. Um, I mean, he could be pretty disturbed if he knew. I'm definitely not telling dad. I don't want to freak him out. He's worried about other stuff anyway. Chris, it's none of my business, but are you and your dad okay? Uh, what do you mean? I don't know. Um, Claire seems to be worried about you guys. Hmm. Yesterday, she told Steven about those bruises on your arm. I think they had a talk with Charles about it. Claire is always worried. We're cool. Totally. He's just... He has a hard time being on his own. That's all. Chris... I know life can get pretty tough. Trust me. But... You'll be okay. You're an awesome kid. Thanks, Sean. But I don't feel scared anymore. I have the power. And I have Daniel. Ah, cool. Sorry, the water eater is still broken. There's the signal. Come on, Daniel. Hey! Pro tip, don't go in there. Yeah. <laughs> okay, squad, let's roll. You need my jacket? I don't want you catching another cold. No, I'm good, thanks. And don't be waving your arms around when I'm driving, okay? <laughs> yeah, um, remember Daniel, don't mess around.
Okay, buddy. You ready? Yeah. <laughs> hey! You guys go ahead and we'll come back to meet you, okay? Brothers meeting. Sure. But... Don't get lost. Dude, what the fuck are you doing? I can't believe it. How many times do we have to keep going over the rules? Don't show the power. I know. But Chris thinks he can do all this cool stuff. I wish he could. He reminds me of Noah. I just miss having friends, Sean. Listen, I understand, but we have to be extra careful out here. You can't let people see you. You know the rules. Yes, I know the rules. But I'm careful. I only do things when it's me and Chris. Nobody sees us. Yeah, nobody but me. What if it was Chris's dad? Or grandma? Or a cop? Or... Okay, okay. I get it. But I'm careful. That's not enough. You have to be extra, extra careful. All right. I swear I will. Deal. I'm counting on you, Anano. Can I go see Chris now? Yeah, let's go. But don't forget what I said. Wow! So many trees! Ugh. Did you come in, Sean? Don't worry. I'll be around. Jeez, Daniel Snowman wasn't that creepy after all. Can Daniel help, Dad? Of course he can. Awesome. Come on, no time to lose. Okay, just pick the one you like and come get me. Deal? Deal. I've never been on such a dangerous mission. Yeah, these wild trees are just weird. We'll have to tame the one we all want. Right. Everything all right? All good. Quiet morning as usual. Good. Tell me if you need anything, okay? We sure. only sell hand. Hey. I'm fine for now. Hi. Good morning, young man. So don't worry. It's nice to see a new face in this old town. Thanks. It's a super cool market you got here. Small towns are the best for Christmas. Who are you staying with? We're just passing through, so, uh, at a... Motel. Well, I saw you speaking with Charles, so I thought... Oh, we're not related. My brother Daniel's friends with Chris. Gotcha. I like his son. Funny little guy. Despite everything. Anyway, welcome to Beaver Creek. If you need anything, just holler. We only sell handmade local products. Come take a look. Holy shit. Funny how all small towns always sell the same handcrafted crap. You won't find better deals. Funny how all small towns sell the same handcrafted crap. Holy shit. We only sell handmade local products. Come take a look. You won't How find better deals in Beaver Creek. Damn. Just take the goddamn bear already. Jesus. 
Can't you make an effort for a change? Yeah, no. I just think she won't like any of this. So, what? Wanna check out the mall? Yeah, definitely. This is too... whatever. Okay, okay. Let's go then. Hey, um... Uh, can I get one of these... bears? Sure. Our best seller this year. Cool. Here you go. Thanks. Anything else? No. I'm good. Have a nice day then. Yeah, you too. Thanks. <laughs> cool. Mission accomplished. Local we better Let's leave now look. before Claire and Steven come back. Too bad we can't come and see. Maybe we'll get some leftover pies and eggnog, at least. I've looked enough. Time to draw now. The best Christmas Hi, everybody. We're taking a year off to run away from cops. Daniel has got telekinesis now. Hope you're doing well. Each of our wreaths is unique. Special price if you buy two. Dear Santa, we've been good kids this year. Please explain this hot mess. Found what you were looking for, city boy? Um, yeah. Something for my little brother. You bought your brother something out here. Damn. Poor kid. Sorry, I'm just a grumpy old gal. Me and my friends have been crashing here for the week. Nobody gives a shit about us. Yeah, I can tell you're not from around here. <laughs> no, no way. Just here for the holidays. Ah, you got family. My grandparents. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta love the grandparents. What about you and your friends? Road trip? Uh, <laughs> not really. We kind of hop from place to place, hunting for little jobs and... Must be a long ride. That's okay. We hop on trains. Gives us time to rest. Man. That sounds wicked. <sighs> you have no idea. It's free and so fucking fun. Well, unless you get caught or fall, but... We've been lucky so far. That's the best. Nobody tells us what to do. No corporation owns us. And you get to see so many cool places. Exactly. Next stop is Humboldt County, California. <laughs> Stoner break. Not even close. We actually got work over there. Sean, what are you doing? We've hit the tree with Chris. It's all crooked like an old witch. Oh, hi. Who are you? Ooh, your hair looks so cool. Is it a wig? Uh, well, what do you think? Hmm, I don't know, but it's really cool. I'm Daniel. What's your name? Hi, Daniel. I'm Cassidy. I dig your superhero outfit. I'm on a secret mission with my friend. It's very dangerous. I can tell. I hope you get your mission accomplished. <laughs> and what's your name? Oh, uh, Sean. I... I thought I told you. Now you did. 
Sorry, you went through some shit with the guys. How much you make? You ready? Hello, pups. Ooh, is that your doggy? So cool. Yeah, he's been through a lot. Like most of us. So we adopted him. And he stinks. Yeah, you stink and you like it, huh? <laughs> Well, he's not the only one. Have you checked your hair? I think it just twitched. You should keep your distance, dude. She looks really cool, I think. See? He knows I'm clean. You're the nasty one. Yeah, you always go for those suburban boys. <laughs> Are you kidding? You want to talk about your scoreboard, hotshot? Hey. No worries. Come on, let's bail. It was nice meeting you, Sean and Daniel. Stay out of trouble, Goodbye. kids. Bye. Hope we see you on the rails someday. Yeah. See you around. That doggy was so cute. I miss Mushroom. I miss her too. Hey, excuse me. Dogs have to be on a leash around here. Too many strays. <laughs> Sorry, dude. We don't do leashes. Well. The city does. An unleashed dog is liable to a fine, so... Uh, you're gonna fine our dog? Well, that's not very nice. Loitering is illegal, too. And you don't live here, right? Right? Calm down, sweetie. We're allowed to visit the Christmas market. Our dog's not gonna eat you. Look at him! You better watch your mouth. You punks are always causing trouble. This is a nice town, okay? Jeez. Oh, Someone needs to get laid. <laughs> He's out of pills. That's it. I'm calling the cops. Oh, God. He's gonna call the cops on us, Finn. Chill out. We're leaving this shithole anyway. You guys don't even have a Santa, for Christ's sake. <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas. Fucking parasites. Why did they fight? I don't get why he yelled like that. We should kick his ass, Sean. Better not get involved, man. This guy... doesn't look nice. You're right. They're pretty. Whoa. The guy so who painted cool. that How do I look, must have been seriously high. <laughs> Ridiculous. Aw, uh, you're jealous because I'm cute. You're lost. Hey, you guys ready to go? Yeah. All done. Cool. <laughs> Hop in. Are you having too much fun back there? Yeah. That's what I thought. Looks like Daniel found a new brother. <laughs> no kidding. He dumped me like a rock. I'm glad you two came along. It's great that Chris found a new friend out here. It looks like you did too. What's her name? Um... Cassidy? Cassidy. Cute name. 
Do you like her? She was cool. You're too quick! Ah! Anyway, got ya! <laughs> it's good for me to get out, too. We've had a rough time over the past couple of years. My wife, Emily, she died two years ago. Obviously, uh, it was tough on Chris. Shit. Uh, I'm sorry, man. Thanks. It's been a struggle. Especially trying to be a good dad. Do you have some kind of problems? I'm just not the man I was. I shouldn't have even brought this up, you know, just forget it. No worries. Didn't mean to make you feel bad. Um, hey, how long are you staying at your grandparents? I don't know. Depends on how long Stephen and Claire will put up with us. Well, they stopped by yesterday. They really seem to care about Chris. But I'm afraid they get the wrong idea sometimes. Claire threatens to call social services. That's true. We are not your usual pretty happy suburban family model. But I know things haven't always been good for the Reynolds either. Yeah, my... My mom left my dad a long time ago. She... Never came back. She broke all ties with her parents, too. <sighs> Sorry for bringing that up. It's okay. I hope they don't stress out because we haven't come back. Uh, yeah, we should get you two home. Uh, don't keep them waiting. Yeah. <laughs> hey, buddy. Uh, want to set up that Christmas tree? Yeah! Well, I'll get there before you with my dad mobile. <laughs> no way you can beat Captain Spirit. <laughs> See you later, Super Wolf. Hello? Hello? Claire? Steven? Looks like Grandma and Grandpa haven't come back from church yet. Well, at least they won't yell at us for going out. That was so cool to spend time with Chris at the market. Did you know Chris's mom was an artist? I didn't. How so? She drew comics. You should see her drawings. They're so cool. Just like yours. Thanks, dude. Hey. Uh... What? What is it? Sean? I want to go check on the room. Upstairs. I know it's Mom's. Please. You won't give up on that, right? It's just... I really want to know what's inside. What kind of stuff she had. Chris has tons of things that belong to his mom. And I have nothing. Come on, Sean. You don't even have to come with me. If you don't want to. <sighs> Fuck it. I'll come with you. So you don't make a mess and get us caught. We'll find a way to open it. Or I could just blow this stupid door up with my power. That looks super easy. <laughs> yeah, I could do that with a hammer. But let's try and find the key instead, all right? I'm just gonna clean up real quick.
Yep. It's empty. Dude, hurry. I'll stay here in case they come back. I gotta find a way to open that door. Or Daniel's gonna keep ranting about it. We have to get into that room, before they come back. <laughs> this whole house is pretty much a huge washing machine. Sharp objects. <laughs> A bit like Claire. Yeah, no. No way I'm searching Claire's underwear. <sighs> Karen hated collecting trinkets. She used to say they were just useless dust traps. <laughs> Who knew this sweet little muffin would turn into such a brat? <laughs> Still super cute, though. <laughs> Love the outfits, guys. <sighs> Man, he looks so different. So young. Come on, little key. Don't be shy. <laughs> How much more Irish can you be? Wonder what would have been different if Dad had taken us to church. Didn't know Claire had sleep troubles. Like, definitely not the one. Way too small. But... Let's see what it opens. Sean, hurry up. They might come back any minute. Yes, Daniel. I know. I can't... Whoa. I'm just looking for a key. Not the crown jewels. Ew. Are these... Milk teeth? I'm not sure if it's gross or cute. But still, no key here. Shit. These are Christmas presents? Let's not tell Daniel. Or he'd freak. Sean! I saw Grandma go into the room yesterday. Okay, Steven. Where do you hide this key? I don't really see Steven listening to old school pop rock music. We clearly don't share politics, but at least Steven doesn't preach. Yeah, not much to see in here. Clothes, old stuff, but definitely no hidden key. Shit, these are Christmas presents? Ah. <laughs> uh. Okay, Daniel. Uh. Think hard. What was she wearing? Uh, geez. Mm, I think it was...
us that weird uh, sweater thing. Dude, you rock. It would be cool to ask Steven about his firefighting career. He must have had tons of things. <sighs> that would have been really useful when we lived in the woods. Karen's smile on this picture kind of reminds me of Daniel's. It would be cool to ask Steven about his firefighting career. He must have had tons of things to tell. Small town hero starter pack. <sighs> Shit. Wish I had the chance to find my thing, too. Come on. Where is this card again? Clothes. Old stuff. <sighs> Definitely no hidden key. Hey, I think that's the cardigan Claire was wearing yesterday. Yes. I found one key, so it better fit. Just try it. not that much left. Where do you think they put the rest of her stuff? It's her teenage room. I'm sure she sorted through her things before leaving for Seattle. They want to forget anything related to Karen. I can relate. The rest is probably packed in these boxes. Never been a big fan of hiking. But here I was. Karen liked to take okay, pictures Daniel. of strangers when we walked down You've the streets. Seen everything you wanted to see? Claire and Steven will be home soon now. Just five more minutes. I think I saw a moon eclipse once. Before Daniel was born. Karen was... <laughs> I miss my skateboard. And going to the park. With Lila. I think I saw a moon eclipse once before Daniel was born. Karen was still with us then. <sighs> I miss my music. <laughs> Guess the no phone rule wasn't such a thing back then. Well, figures Karen was already looking for an exit. Why would they remove all the pictures? Because they made them sad. Yeah. Dad did the same. <gasps> Read a lot thing. of these in the tenth grade. Any picture of mom <sighs> Yawn. Hope you enjoyed your trips. So you didn't bail on us for nothing. I don't recognize any of these games. How? 
of weird are these sunglasses? <laughs> They're not sunglasses, man. It's to look at the sun during eclipses. Eclipses? You know, when the sun hides behind the moon. Oh, yeah. That must be so cool to watch. They looked happy. How could she send all of this to hell? Did she tell you why she left? She told Dad and... Dad told me. He told you too, right? All he ever said to me was she wasn't so sure what she wanted for Hi, life. Teddy. Well, I guess she finally fi- These pictures are so... random. Well, I guess she finally figured it out. Because she never looked back. And we have to do the same thing, too. I know. Is that an amethyst? <sighs> she was into New Age bullshit. So, you were a friend of my mommy's? I hope she... <sighs> yeah. You finally left forever. Coward. Took good care of you. Man, that pen pal sure loved listening to her own voice. she take you with her when she went on trips? They want to forget anything related to Karen. Loved it so much. <laughs> I can relate. Why would Claire lock these up in here? Is that for mom? Huh? Let me see. Daniel. Come on. What's it say? Read it. Seriously, stop. Here. How about this? I've heard the news about Seattle. Please help my boys if they come to you. What? Why did they hide this from us? I don't know. You can reach me at, at this address. It's a P.O. box I use sometimes. What's a P.O. box? Well, a cop-out in this case. I beg you, please help my sons. Oh, yeah, right. Total bullshit. What do you mean? She cares about us. Well, I don't. Maybe she changed her mind. We could try and contact her. You don't even know her, okay? Don't get any wrong ideas. We should just stick to our plan. For now. Can I read it again? Yeah. Then we gotta go. My goodness. Oh. Shit. Excuse me. What are you both doing in here? Except visibly. Ransacking our house while we're at church? Claire, we're sorry. But we just wanted to... No one ever told you that everything you say before a butt has no value? You know you shouldn't be in here. Claire, please, calm down. No, Stephen. They went way out of line here. We specifically told you to stay out of I this have room. I the right to see my mom's room. This isn't her room anymore. There is nothing to see in here. 
It's time you learned to respect some rules. Actually, we did find something. Yeah, we found a new letter from my mom. She said she wants to see us. But you didn't even tell us. She's not my daughter anymore, or your mother. She burned all those bridges. One letter doesn't change what she did to me, all of us. She is not welcome back. It's been eight years. Maybe it's time to move on. Don't you dare lecture me, Sean. You don't know anything about how I feel. I can't fear that. <sighs> Listen, Sean. I know life has been tough on you the past month. Bless your souls. And, and we put up with a lot of things. But that, going through our stuff, our personal belongings, well, that shows you don't respect us. Then you act like I'm the bad guy, after what we've done for you. I knew something like this might happen. Maybe you two staying here wasn't such a good idea. Man, I think I see why Mom left now. She couldn't put up with your stupid rules anymore. Oh, so that's what you think. Then let me tell you something. Huh? <gasps> Steven! Oh, shit! Get this goddamn thing off me! Steven, no! Hold on, honey, we'll get it off! No! Stop! Oh, my legs! Do it, Daniel! Now! Do what? What's going on? Oh, Lord, what... What are you doing, Daniel? My baby, Stephen, are you okay? No, I am. Thanks to Daniel. You were right, Claire. I should have fixed that cupboard months ago. I guess my laziness will get me someday. What in the name of God was that all about? That's impossible. What are you, Daniel? Claire. Listen, they saved me, Claire. That's all that matters. Maybe it was a miracle. Oh, thank you, Lord. It's, it's the sheriff. Stephen? Claire? Sean, I didn't. We didn't call them. I know, Grandma. Sean, what are we gonna do? Go hide in the garage. No, no, no way. If the police searches the house, that makes the two of you accomplices. Get your bags and go out the back door. I'll distract him. Really? Yes. No. Get the hell out of here. I know you're in here. Your car is in the driveway. I'm so sorry for everything. I wish we could have helped you more. I wish you could stay here with us. Watch out for your brother, Sean. Yes. Be careful. We'll see you as soon as we can, okay? Thanks for helping us. Both of you. Oh, we love you. Now hurry up. Daniel.
way. Why? Why did Chris jump in front of that car, Sean? Why? He's okay, Yanano. The car barely touched him. You... You said I should be more careful. But... Because of you. I didn't do anything, and... I could have. Hey. You don't know what could have happened, okay? What's done is done. <clears throat> you didn't even let me check on him. What if he is... dead? Y you could see the car slow down before. So... Chris will be fine. Trust me. You... You promise? Promise. Sean. I'm tired of running away. Why does my power always bring trouble? You don't have to use your power if you don't want to. But I'm good with it. And I'm the only one who can do these things. I know, but... Daniel, you need to be careful. And listen to your brother. You think we'll see Grandma and Grandpa again? I don't know. We'll see. Where are we gonna go now? See... See Mom? No way, man. We don't need her, okay? But... She said she wanted to find us. We stick to the plan. We go to Puerto Lobos. That's where we belong. No one will tell us what to do. We can be whoever we want. You, you think? I don't know. Trust me, man. From now on... We make our own rules. Look. I wanted to wait until then, but we kind of need a little cheer, so Merry Christmas, Inanna. For me? Thanks, Sean. Hey, listen. There's a ride. Come on, all aboard. Demand. 
So, this is it? Yeah. It looks like a nettle field. And it stinks. <laughs> yeah. And your stinky feet will cover the smell. Shut up! They don't! Come on. I'll show you around. 